All right, dudes. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to tune a Floyd Rose. Um, it's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, you hear? I'm out of tune, really bad. Um, so, let's tell you what you need real quick. Um, you're gonna need a screwdriver to fit into the screws and make sure it's a tight fit, okay? Allen key. And a uh, stack of picks, okay? Enough picks that'll fit into this area, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to loosen the nut. Mine's already loose. Um, so you loosen the nut. You need to loosen your springs a bit, okay? You don't want them all the way out. You just want them a good bit out, okay? Then what you do is um, you adjust with your tuning heads basically the tension so that you get the bridge flat. For me, I have to loosen up a bit. So my bridge is flat now. But I'm all raunched up in tuning. So now you take your picks. Okay, this is the trick part of it. Take your picks and you put them right down in there, okay? And make sure when you put your picks in there, they uh, just kind of sit in there. And you're not actually um, moving the bridge. Which I'm not, okay? So you got your picture in there, and now you start tuning. So make sure your tuners are in, and then you start tuning. Now the thing about tuning right now is um, you're going to fill out, it's going to take a while. Um, what's happening is the neck is coming into tension. Okay, your bridge isn't balancing or anything. Your neck is just getting its tension. So sometimes it'll take a little while. No, this will probably be in the same case as you. G string is usually always the hardest. Um, I don't know why it just usually is. So make sure you just tune a couple times to make sure you're there. And unless your intonation's properly done, you're probably going to want to tune string to string too. Okay. Now, what you do is you go back here and you start tightening up your screws bit by bit, bit by bit, until you can feel that you can take this, this, the picks out with the same amount of tension as they went in, okay?
usually like to do is I like to use the screwdriver so I can angle them to where they're easier for me to get a hold of and then I still got to fill for that tension. Pulled those out and the bridge didn't move. You see the bridge, I mean the bridge is back a little bit, that's kind of how I like it though. So what you want to do right now is retune. Um, that's not perfect yet, but basically you want to retune because it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> I can't hear anything. The volume's down somewhere. I could have been it. Okay. Anyways. Okay, now what you want to do is uh, lock down. Okay, now that you're back in tune. And um, finger tighten it first before you do this, okay? Okay, and then fine tune. Okay, so that's in tune, bridge is flat, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I've done this four times already today, and I can tell you G-strings have been a bitch for me all day. I think, you know, every guitar I've ever had, I've always had problems with the G-string. Um, so yeah, but that's the easy way to do it. Um, only step I didn't show you was changing strings, and basically, just change the strings before you do this, and then you do this, and everything's fine. And yeah, that's it. So I hope that helped you guys out, and I'll catch you guys later.